also, I know that so many people have talked about the Logan Paul controversy. Honestly, I don't think enough people have talked about all sides. I only started watching his vlogs about a month ago because I was genuinely curious about what all of the fuss was about this guy. I can't lie, I got hooked and I was binge watching his videos every day and quickly understood why so many people were watching his videos daily. He's got a contagious energy. Granted, the majority of things he does are mildly to extremely stupid. I still watch because it gave me an escape from the things I struggle with in my life. Kind of a way to forget about my problems and demons that haunt me regularly for a little while. It's also partly because I'm so fascinated by the things he does and the fact that there's no one to slap him in the back of the head. I figured he would have hired somebody to do that by now. I even watched the entire video of him in the forest with the suicide victim. When I saw the video, I thought it was disturbing, but I also understood why he laughed. Some people laugh when they feel uncomfortable. I wouldn't have time to be uncomfortable in that situation because I would probably already have had five seizures due to the stress of seeing a dead body. Now, yes, I did find it disturbing, but as someone who has dealt with suicidal thoughts, thankfully had an epiphany and doesn't want anyone to take their own life, I figured that even if it was disturbing, it could open up the conversation for prevention and awareness because of the simple fact that he is so famous. For me, the thought that it could have helped even one person to change their mind in a positive way, it was worth the disturbing video existing. Even if their reason for changing their mind is that they don't want to end up in one of Logan Paul's vlogs. Now, of course, Logan has made a comeback with a video about suicide prevention and awareness. No doubt an idea from his PR team, but regardless, it's opening the conversation further. He got Kevin Hines to be in his video, and for me, that was an amazing thing. There aren't enough people who know about Kevin and his story, but because of this whole controversy, more people know about him. Of course, I thought that there should have been a way for real people to talk about their stories. People who have thought about it and the way they overcame it or something that has taught them that living life is just a much better option. I'll include a link uh, at the end of the video to my story as well as a link down below. But I encourage anyone who is dealing with these troubles, find someone to talk to. If you have overcome it, share your story. Because I strongly believe that only by sharing your stories can people really realize that they are not alone. They're not alone in the struggles and there is someone who loves them. So please understand, life really is worth living. If you want to have a laugh or you want to watch some of my vlogs just to escape from your daily life. My comedy channel is right here. More laughs on Thursdays. My vlog channel is right here. Watch what I'm up to every day. My story is right here. 
I love you guys so, so much. If you are hurting, please get help. Please talk to somebody. There's always somebody that loves you. Love you guys.